So here is a demo of what we are going to create. On left, we have Contact Us page from where users can send a message to admin. And on right we have Admin Panel where admin will be able to view messages without refreshing the page. First send a simple message from user side, and you will see it will appear on admin side without refreshing the page. We have message and name of sender. So let's learn how you can integrate this in your website. First give unique ID attribute to each field of contact as form. Name. Email. Subject. and message and attach on click listener to submit button make sure the input type must be button otherwise it will redirect you to forms action attribute and this will be the function that we are going to create in javascript now create this function in javascript First thing you will need is socket IO, so search for socket IO CDN. And open cdnjs.com. And copy the socket IO JS path. Create a script tag and paste inside it. Then create an object for socket IO. The function name is IO, and it accept one argument as path of server. For now you can paste your local IP address, or simply localhost, but in order to test on different devices you might need IP address. You can get your computer IP address from command prompt or terminal. Just write if config and hit enter. And here is your IP address after INET and before NetMask. Paste here and enter the port number 2. We will be running our Node.js server on port number 3000. Now we can send and listen events from server using above socket object. To send an event to server, call the emit function from socket object. First parameter will be the name of event, it can be any string without space. And second will be the data that needs to be sent, it can be string, integer, object or boolean value. Here we will send all form field values. Now we need to listen for this event on admin panel. So first include the socket IOJS file. And then connect with Node.js server same as done on contact page. Now with this socket object we need to continuously listen for that event. On function will be called whenever that event is fired from server. Here pass the name event. And this will be function that will be called. It will receive message object as sent by server. Right now we are just displaying the message object in console. Remember, the console of server.js will be displayed in terminal, not on web page. Create a new file named server.js. First open your project folder in terminal or command prompt. CD, and path of folder where server.js is placed. You need to install three modules and they can be installed with one command. npm install. Express. HTTP. And socket IO. And hit enter. Once installed, you will have package and node modules folder. In server.js, create an instance of express module.
and initialize this object as well. You can use this app object for creating API requests. Similarly, create HTTP module instance. Create a server with this instance, and pass app object, which means that the server will be of express module type. And finally create socket IO instance. And initialize it with HTTP object same as we did for app object. To start the server you need to call listen function from HTTP object. First parameter will be the port number where you want to run the server. Second will be the function called when the server is started. Just display a message that the server has been started. You can start the server using nodeemon or simple node command. Nodeemon will automatically restart the server whenever server.js changes, if you use simple node then you need to restart the server manually. And the name of file. So the server has been started. Now we need to connect it with socket IO. Connection event will be called automatically when a new user connects with this server. You can get the connected user socket ID using socket object from parameter. Now if I refresh the page you will it displays that a new user has been connected. And if I refresh the admin page, it will do the same. So first we will listen to that message sent event. Just display the message object we are receiving. When client emit that event it will first be received in server.js file. When I click the button to send message, the event will be emitted to server. So we are receiving the message object in server file, now we can send that event to all other clients who are listening to this event. As we know that only admin is listening to this event, so only admin will be able to receive this event. We will broadcast this event from server, which means that the event will send to all clients except for the one who sends it. Name of event. And data which needs to be sent. So first client will emit the event. It will be received on server, and server will send that to all other clients you are listening to this event. An admin is listening to this event, so a message will be displayed on admin's console. Refresh both pages. Keep an eye on admin's console window. So the message object has been received correctly. Now it is up to you how you want to display it, you can either display it in alert or in some HTML tag. For the sake of simplicity, we will be displaying it in notification alert. We will be using a library called Notify.js. Search for Notify.js CDN. And go to cdnjs.com. And include its JS file in your admin panel. And inside it call $.notify. This will be the message that you want to display in alert. Move to next line. This will be the message. Line break two times. And name of sender. No need to refresh the user page, just refresh the admin side.
There you go, you can customize it. Pass second parameter as object. To prevent it from automatically hiding itself, set auto hide property to false. And to display it in green, set class name property to success. To remove this, just click on it. Now, if you want to save this message in database, you can call an Ajax request on contact page after emitting the event. We are not going to detail on how you can send an Ajax request and save in database, but if you want to learn its link will be provided in the description of this video. So right now it is working on localhost but we want to do it on live server. We will be using a service named Heroku that allows you to host your Node.js projects. You can create a separate folder for Node.js where you will have server.js and all Node modules. Go to Heroku.com Create a new app. Go to Deploy tab. First you need to log in with Heroku. Open a new terminal tab. Press any key and it will take you to login page. Do login here, you can create your account as well of course. And initialize git in it. And run this command, this will set the URL of remote branch to your app. So when you made changes it will be affected on that app. Now you can simply add all files inside commit. Check status to confirm that all files has been added. And enter the message for commit. And finally push them to Heroku server. Now this is the URL that you can use in your website. Replace it with this, including the port number. And same on admin side. Now refresh both pages. Now the messages are being transferred using Heroku server. 